We had illegal aliens attempting to, to traverse the perimeter fence at one of the local schools in the southern side of the city. Um, and that school, Ribbon Chavit Elementary School, had to go on lockdown temporarily just to make sure that the students were safe. So I ask, I ask Congress, I ask those politicians that are out there advocating for different nations right now, stating, you know, the calm and the care that we need to provide them. What about our, what about my elementary school students? Imagine how the trauma that they're experiencing having to be on lockdown for illegal immigrants coming in and trying to get into their fence line. That's ridiculous. He is a Democratic mayor, the mayor of Del Rio, Texas, and he's calling for Congress to put Americans first by taking action on the border crisis. As he reveals that a surge of migrants trying to enter his town forced a school to go into lockdown. 13 illegals were detained trying to get over the fence of that school. Here to react is Fox News contributor Laura Trump. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Ainsley. Good Thanks morning. for having me. Thanks for coming on. So here you have this Democratic mayor, and he is siding with Ted Cruz here. He says, I've gone to Congress. He uh, was blasting AOC, but he is praising Ted Cruz for admitting that this is a crisis. What do you say? Well, good for him, by the way, for coming out and talking about this. And he also held to account some Democrats uh, in Congress, specifically AOC, and saying that what she has said is not helping the situation. But gosh, Ainsley, can you imagine being a parent of one of these children and knowing that the school had to go on lockdown because you had illegal immigrants trespassing on the property? I mean, this is horrifying stuff. This shouldn't happen in America, but this is the result of open border policy. This is the result of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris inviting all of these people into America. This is what happens when you spend taxpayer money to pay for people who have broken our laws by coming here illegally to stay in America. You give them free health care. You invite all these people and you allow children of illegal immigrants to go to in-person school and tell American kids they still can't go in person. They have to stay virtual. This is insanity. It is really scary. But uh, look, we have to get a hold on this. Again, I praise that Democrat mayor for coming out and talking about this. This is not a partisan issue. This is an American issue. And where is Kamala Harris? Where is Joe Biden? Kamala Harris has been tasked with fixing this problem for, I mean, gosh, how many days and counting now? Months now. And she still hasn't gone to the southern border. And by the way, I'd like to remind Joe Biden, you might have forgotten you're the president of the United States. You might have told her this is her job. It ultimately falls in your lap at any moment. You could go down to Texas. You could go down to the southern border of America and get this problem under control. But I think the bottom line, Ainsley, they don't want to do it. It is crazy and people are really getting fed up. It really is crazy. I mean, the AOC and 34 Democrats are objecting to these border agents deporting aggravated felons. They don't even want to report the gang members. Let's talk about what you touched on a little bit with the masks with our children. The CDC is recommending that kids wear masks at school. Uh, I know you have little ones at home. How do you feel about this? Well, I, I do not put masks on my children. I never have. I never will. I think when you look at the science, and gosh, weren't we all supposed to follow the science from the beginning? What's, isn't that what we were all told? The science has told us very clearly that children, thank God, do not react to COVID in the same way that adults do, that they are not the super spreaders people thought they might be a year ago. If you have teachers either getting vaccinated or not worried about COVID, then why are we masking up our children? This is pure insanity here. I got to tell you, I know a lot of parents who are saying, if you mandate that my child wears a mask or you mandate that I get the vaccine for my, my you know, five, six-year-old, I'm not sending my kid to school. And I can't say that I blame yeah. these people. As parents, we know what's best for them. This is not up to uh, the schools to tell us, the school board, the CDC. This is up to the parents in America. It's yeah, really, Bri Brian I, I can't believe that they're saying that we should do this. Brian interviewed a young lady who uh, was playing basketball and she passed out and she ended up in an ambulance and had to go to the hospital. She had, she, they're forcing those kids, I believe it's in Oregon, uh, to wear masks while they're playing sports. Unbelievable. I can tell you, I was an athlete growing up. It's hard enough to, to run down a basketball court, full court, and play that yes. game. If you're masked up, it is even worse. This is crazy stuff that's going on. I can't even believe it. I know. Has anyone said anything to you if you go out in public without the kids wearing masks? 
Well, it's funny because I, I, I talked about this this weekend. I take my kids to a playground, and oftentimes they are the only kids mm -hmm. without masks outdoors, Ainsley, right. at a playground. Nobody said anything. They just yeah. give you looks, but that's okay. We'll take that. Laura, thanks so much for coming on. <laughs> you got Good it. Good to see you.